To write the formula for chromium-3 carbonate, let's first write the element symbol for chromium. So chromium on the periodic table, that's CR. And we know when we look at the formula here, this Roman numeral 3, that tells us we have a 3 plus ionic charge. Chromium, that's a transition metal, so they put the 3 here to help us out. For the carbonate, this ATE, you won't find that on the periodic table. This is a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize that the carbonate ion here is CO3, 2 minus, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So we have our chromium, which is a metal, and our group of nonmetals here, our carbonate ion. Because we have a metal and nonmetals, this is an ionic compound, and these charges here, they need to add up to zero to give us a net charge of zero. That's a little difficult because we have a 3 plus and a 2 minus. The way we can do this is use something called the crisscross method. We can move the 2 over here, then the 3 out here, get rid of these symbols, and then we need to show that we have 3 carbonate ions and each one is 2 minus. So we'll put parentheses around our carbonate ion. And this is the formula for chromium-3 carbonate, Cr2CO3-3. Let's check our work though. So we said chromium, that is 3 plus, and the whole carbonate here, this whole thing, is 2 minus. So we have 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus, 2 times 3 plus, that's 6 plus. So these numbers, they add up to zero. We have a net charge of zero. This is the formula for chromium-3 carbonate. We have the Cr2, CO3, 3, two chromium atoms, and then these three carbonate ions. This is Dr. B with the formula for chromium-3 carbonate. Thanks for watching.